Now to a crime alert. San Diego police are looking for the people who beat up a man after they gathered to do burnouts in front of his, R at front of his RV. He was left unconscious. 10 News reporter Mackenzie Maynard is joining us from Kearney Mesa. And Mackenzie, you spoke with some of the people who came to his rescue that night. Yeah, the man who was attacked tells us that he had his RV parked right here along the curb and just steps away before it all happened. They were doing burnouts in this cul-de-sac. Now, not only did a local business catch surveillance of the whole thing, they had employees who ran to his rescue. Wednesday, we talked with the 64 year old victim who doesn't want to be identified. All I remember is waking up in a hospital and Waking up with a bleeding brain and a fractured disc nearly two weeks ago. I still got little black eyes. Yep. I'm still a little dizzy. While he doesn't remember much of the attack, a business located in the cul-de-sac remembers it all too well. Just basically left him uh, for dead. The business co-owner tells me they've had car clubs use this private driveway before, but have never had it escalate like this. One minute innocent kids hanging out and then the next minute they're tearing up and vandalizing and attacking. That business caught it all on their surveillance cameras. Part of the video shows a couple cars doing burnouts in the cul-de-sac. Just moments later you can see men jumping on the roof of the victim's RV. I got out and I went around back to look and they were I look up, there's somebody standing on my roof of my RV. And the last thing I remember is one of his buddies jumping out. I don't know what happened after that. The business lets the man park in this cul-de-sac overnight because he used to work here, which makes it even more concerning when employees tried to bring him back to consciousness on the sidewalk. It was very scary because he didn't even recognize the people he used to work with. Now police need your help as they look for the suspects. If you recognize the people in these photos, they're offering a $1,000 reward. I've lived a long time, so I felt some pain, but nothing like, you know, that, that was different. Yeah, that 64 year old victim is still recovering tonight. He says that he believes the suspects who attacked him also took off with his cell phone. For now, reporting live in Kearney Mesa, Mackenzie Maynard, 10 News.